thing I love about architecture is making beautiful things for many people. I'm Adam Ralston, and I live in Washington Heights. Welcome to my home. When we bought the apartment, it hadn't been touched since the 1930s. We bought it from one of the original owners. And when we renovated it, we wanted to respect the original architecture. We had just come back from a trip to Havana. And so we were joking that we wanted the feeling of Havana on the Hudson. Even though I'm an architect and interior designer, we didn't really decorate this place. We just collected it. It's all things that we've collected over 30 years of being together to create a home. So we started with this idea of Havana on the Hudson right here in the foyer. Havana had its heyday in the deco era and all of the buildings now have this kind of beautiful patina to them. And so we recreated that here with this integral colored plaster. The integral colored plaster is actually plaster with pigment integral to it. What that does is it brings the most important thing about the apartment, the Palisades, this beautiful view right into the apartment. Conceptually, it's sort of the same color, this off green, but also physically, like it aligns. That datum is brought into the apartment. So this is our live, work, play living room. We do everything here from watching TV to dining to cocktails. The thing I loved about this table was the combination of the oxidized brass and the chrome. I moved here in the 80s and there was a glamour to that era that I've always been drawn to. And so I started collecting Jay Spector who comes from that era. Our studio, Ink Architecture and Design, developed this wing back as an homage to a Scandinavian designer from that same era. I think of furniture as my friends. They patina and get better with age. All this stuff that we surround ourselves with makes this home uniquely ours. And that's what good design should always do. The rug is actually inspired by a paint pour artwork. And of course, we added a little bit of violet and mauve to connect with the rest of the colors in the apartment. And the colors were drawn from literally the view. This window was one of the things that sold us on the apartment. It's so unique with the industrial sash casements looking out towards the George Washington Bridge. Steel windows are no longer that common and we stripped them down to the original steel just to give it that patina, just like the front door. It's just character that old buildings have that new construction doesn't. Looking out this window, it's like you're looking through history and it's breathtaking. One of the problems with this kitchen is that it was teeny and dark. So the first thing we did was open up this opening to get light in and also to connect to this little home office. We wanted it to feel like a ship's galley, so we went all stainless steel. The kitchen sink is actually a bar back sink. And we added the wood top just to bring a little warmth. And one of my favorite details is the sliding upper cabinets. And the color in here is mauve, same line as in the foyer. And back here in the little home office is my partner's collection of clocks, because he's always late. Welcome to the bedroom where all the magic happens. Wanted to bring that same line in, but here we reverse the color where the color's above and the, the white is below to lighten it and brighten it. It's got two exposures. I can see the Tappan Sea Bridge from my bed. There is nothing better than waking up to this view. And then we brought the Palisades in literally this time with a tapestry inspired by the Cloisters tapestries. And it was a picture that I took of the Palisades out the window and put it on the wall. It's nothing better than faux fur. The bed is Jay Spector again. It's a combination of brass and oxidized copper. And then it's upholstered to match the rug because we're crazy. The vertebrae skeleton, one of my favorite objects, just to remind me of my mortality as I go to bed every night. A big round mirror for the 1930s feel. And another Jay Spector credenza because I'm obsessed. The artwork is of a Trojan box. I made it in the 90s. You know, we're in the middle of the AIDS crisis and it was a call to arms. And another weird piece, which is actually a grain drum that we use as our hamper. Come to think of it, after showing you guys this house, we have a lot of weird stuff. This home is just a celebration of the life that my partner and I have built together. And that's what all great architecture should be. It should be an expression of the people that use it. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. It was awesome having you in my home. Well, that was so much fun, but the fun doesn't have to end here. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for the best open house has to offer.